Hello and welcome to version 1.1 of the RPG Toolkit where I'll be showing you the new functionality available for it. There's two new pieces of functionality, both improvements over on existing components. The first is a camera improvement where you can now use free rotation instead of having the rotation locked around the um, Y axis. And the second is a star pathfinding for the movement controller. So if I start off by showing you the rotation changes, um, if you look on the screen we have the standard camera here and camera object which now has an additional rotation property enable free rotation so if we disable that and enable that instead and now start you will find that when you press the middle mouse button down and move the mouse it will now rotate around the, tar the tar focus target so we can do that there it's very easy to change and all it is involving a tick box. The second one is a little bit more complicated, so I'll stop that there. And it is the A star pathfinding for the movement controller. If you want to add pathfinding into the RPG toolkit, you first of all need to create a grid manager, which we have a prefab here. So you drag that into the hierarchy, and you at the moment it's positioned at zero zero, but we want to cover the entire level. So we just position it here at for our level, minus twenty-five minus 25 you see it's now down there also we'll show the grid so we can actually see what's happening you'll see it shows a grid down there we want it to cover the entire level so I will move change number of rows to 50 and number of columns to 50 and you'll see that now covers the entire level there next step to set up the grid manager is we create a walkable level sorry walkable layer set that to walkable and create obstacle layers as well so it can't walk through things and that is the grid manager set up Next thing we have to do is we go to the constructor, which has a character controller and a movement controller. Now for this example, since the barriers are all giving you a one unity unit space to move through, I'm going to just change the radius slightly to make it a little bit smaller so, can, so that the character can move through easily. After that, all we have to do is go to the movement controller, check use pathfinding, move the grid manager down into the pathfinding grid, and we're good to go. If you want to see the path that's being set, created by the pathfinding, you can also tick on debug pathfinding. So I run that again, and say tick, click here. You'll see that he's now moving that way. And here we go. There you go. A star pathfinding. I um, hope you've enjoyed that, and that's new functionality. So I hope it's useful to you, and thanks for watching this. Bye.